you're coming out you know strong what? tonight. Normally when I come out here to wrestle, I come through those curtains, I do a little of this, I do a little of this. Well, I tell you what, frankly, I'm not in the goddamn mood tonight. Because you know what? I'm not even wearing wrestling gear because I didn't come here to wrestle. I came here to fight. Because let me tell you something, Vinny. When you screwed me at the last show, you screwed the family. And you never screwed the family. So right here tonight in Green Bay, Wisconsin, I am putting you in your grave. Wow. Oh, right away, Romeo Valentino's going after Vinny Tortellini. It's just like I told you, your evilness, I said he'd take it to him, and that's exactly what he's doing. The beauty of this, it doesn't matter if you know a wrist lock from a wristwatch, it's all about survival. It's about how much pain you can take. Indeed it is, and uh, Romeo Valentino's a house of fire, just beating on Vinny Tortellini. Tortellini has turned on the family, and Romeo Valentino is basically there to do a whack job on Vinny, on Vinny Tortellini. He's getting exactly what he deserves right now. You know, that match, you know, I, I can understand Romeo Valen, I mean, Vinny Tortellini's frustration. I mean, having to go up against Peter B. Beautiful, man, I'm frustrated calling those matches. Well, that would frustrate anybody. I mean, my eyes were, I wanted to gouge my eyes off more than anything else during those matches. And now, I can understand that. And Valentino now, he's setting up a chair. I don't think... Oh, I I see a little circa ECW here. Irish corner. Irish whip. And now it looks like Valentino's gonna follow it up and all. Oh, the high impact into the head. And now Vinny Tortellini trying to recover, trying to get his senses back and to beat on Romeo Valentino. And you think a veteran like uh, Romeo Valentino will be able to see that coming. Apparently not tonight. Well, you know you know how it is in the heat of battle, you know. It's easier to call it than it is to think about when you're in the ring. Indeed, indeed. Right hands being delivered now by Vinny Tortellini. Vinny Tortellini who has turned against the family, and quite frankly, whatever beating he gets, I condone wholeheartedly. You condone this? Well, yeah, I condone all sorts of violence. I, I condone I, I condone turning Mrs. Miller's kindergarten class into cookies. I condone all that. You know, you and I are going to get along just fine, Todd. Yeah, You're going to get along just fine. You know, I tell you what, I had to put up with Ed Hellier tonight. The man, he's a nice guy, mind you, but the man needs to get his prescription up the up the little bit. It's nice to actually have someone on the color side who can actually keep up with me. Yeah, I do what I can. I do what I can. We see, looks like Vinny Tortellini digging into his bag of tricks up here. I'm seeing a garbage can lid. I'm seeing a hockey stick. All sorts of hardware being pulled out. Uh, and it looks like the beatings are about to begin, and Romeo Valentino had better get all of Dodge. Tortellini grabs him out of the ring. Looks like he's gonna introduce him to a ring post. No, just a right hand, just slowing him down enough. Well, it's the kind of match where the people in the first three rows need to be very aware and very afraid. Very aware and very afraid indeed. We've seen time and again. I mean, I know I've helped you on security in the past, You've done people. a hell of a job. Well, thank you very much. Clearing people all the way so that you know, so they don't get shellacked by bodies. Oh. And, oh, Will Santowski just got nailed by a kendo stick. Will the thrill he is nailed. Right. I don't know. I think you better get I'm down there, John. I'm going to my post here. I don't blame you. There is, a, there is some bad stuff going on. Thrill Santowski, he was just accidentally hit with a kendo stick. Baron... The Baron is trying to help out right now. Meanwhile, there's chicanery going on in the ring. We're probably down to just one camera right now because then, well, it looks like the action is slowing down right now. Might be coming to a stop. We don't expect cameramen to get nailed here, but Sentulski was just shellacked. Thank Bob that uh, the Baron is an EMT. If there's anything wrong, he's on the scene. He can take care of it. And I'll tell you what, Sentulski's slow to get up. This is, the match goes on, but I'm a little bit worried about my about my uh, friend in the part. Well, that was something violent. Meanwhile, someone looks like they picked up the cam. And uh, Sentowski's still being looked at. There is violence happening outside of the ring. A Sicilian death match is going on, and that was fatal for our good friend, Will the Thrill Sentowski. The best equipped. That was a nasty introduction into the ring post. 
Drill Santowski, the best equipped uh, cameraman in all pro wrestling, getting his, unfortunately. And uh, Valentino's thrown back in the ring. Tortellini with a, just a high-powered offense, just nailing, just nailing Romeo Valentino, spitting at the cross. Oh, that's disgusting. Well, right now, John Hessler seems to be coming back. See, uh, we'll get a report on how Sentowski is doing. Meanwhile, just a two count on Valentino. Vinny Tortellini looks like he's, someone's busted open. Yeah, Tortellini's busted open. Uh, now that we're back to you, now that you're back, can you give us an update on the uh, condition of, uh, of the thrill? Will took a hell of a shot from that, uh, from that stick. I think he's going to be okay. He is the toughest SOB on that camera, let me tell you. Well, I'll tell you what, not only is he wow. the toughest SOB, you might call him the best equipped cameraman in all of independent pro wrestling. Absolutely. He's going to have a goose egg in the morning, but I think he's going to be okay. You know, on the other hand, I mean, Vinny yep. Tortellini and uh, Valentino, they're, they're going to wow. be hurting. And it looks like both Valentino and Tortellini, they're broken open. Indeed. Looks like you're going to have some work later on to boot. Boy, I tell you what, it's tough being the Baron. <laughs> I get it from all sides, and I do what I can, you know? We admit this evening is coming together pretty good for the Baron. It is coming good for the Baron. I, I'm just glad that I'm uh, the Wizard of Todd and not, not the throw right now, I'll tell you that much. That's right. Romeo Valentino fighting back with a flying burrito, or you have to call it the flying marinara sauce in this case. Is that still a, a legitimate call in that move? Well, it's not... That's kind of old school to uh, circa I'm, Tito Santana. Well, I do tend to be an archivist, so I <laughs> call it the I call it the flying burrito. That you are your evilness. That you are. And uh, Tortellini looks like he's going for some weaponry. He has the ever-loving lid. Yeah, the trash can lid. One of the most dangerous objects in the world. Keep that away from your kids. Oh. And no effect yeah. on on Romeo Valentino. It's a sign Valentino. of a true vet. Abandon the weapons and just give it to him full out. What a, what a, what guts. Almost looked like he's trying for the Van Daminator and wow. does a place, base plant on Vinny Tortellini. Here's the cover. Just a two count. What an ability to improvise on that last shot. Unbelievable. I'll tell you what, these two are putting it all on the line. The fans have been well entertained tonight. They even have, the, they even have hurt cameramen if they like that. You get a little bit of everything tonight, ladies and gentlemen. You are getting your money's worth right here in Green Bay. And Romeo Valentino with a reverse DDT. Looks like he's getting the garbage can. Uh, and I can tell you firsthand, courtesy of Angelo Stefano, how that garbage can feels. That's right. Last year you had that slobber nogger out uh, in, in Algoma. Oh, his bros are tripping as he kicked him out of here. I, I, you know, I miss Stefano because he was, he was almost as fun as watching Matt Byron getting beaten. <laughs> I mean, I, I had my issues with, with uh, Stefano, but I do have to admit he put 110% into what he did. Oh, flying elbow drop by Roman Valentino. The cover. Forget that about it. it. Just like I said, the veteran taking it to the rookie. That was a fantastic hardcore match. Unfortunately, Will the Thrill Santowski, he felt the brunt of one of the weapons. But as you said, it looks like he's going to be all right. But he's not going to be looking quite as pretty for Thrills Day Karaoke come this Thursday at Shooters. Yeah, I think Vinny Tortellini is going to think twice before he crosses his friends again. 